It's the second annual Bourbon Night Awards. And now, please welcome your hosts for this evening. From It's Bourbon Night, Chad and Sarah. Welcome to the second annual Bourbon Night Awards. Once again, we're celebrating excellence in the categories of bourbon and American rye. So, so we, shall we get the ball rolling here? Yeah, let's I, do the first category. I think I have some categories in my pocket. Wow. Oh. We try to be formal, but you know, that's just not us. But look at this. But look at these. We have our logo on it this year. The winners of all categories, unless otherwise noted, were determined by the Bourbonite community. Our Patreon supporters were first polled with numerous options for each category. The top five most voted options were then presented to the YouTube community. The winners for each category were then determined from the outcome of these polls. All results are 100% crowdsourced. So if you don't like it, don't blame us. Now onto our first category, which is best value of 2019. And the nominees are Wild Turkey 101, Evan Williams Bottled in Bond, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, Knob Creek Small Batch, Elijah Craig Small Batch. And the winner is... Uh-oh. So graceful. La La Land. <laughs> oh, wait, no. That was last year's. Topical. Wow, these are some old cards. Yeah, these are some old cards. Uh, Evan Williams, Bottled in Bond. So last year, Chad, Jim Beam Repeal Batch won. Um, yes. Which, so I feel like Evan Williams, Bottled in Bond is still in that sort of realm. Yeah, I think so too. It's, uh, well, let's just say that it, it got 25% of the votes of over 2,000 votes there on wow. YouTube. Uh, the next highest was Our Beloved Wild Turkey 101. Yes. A lot of people were calling for that in the comments. And then uh, a tie... 21% of the vote for Elijah Craig, Small Batch, and Rare Breed. Mm. Rare Breed got a lot of hate in the comments because they're oh. like, that's not value, that's not value. So I guess it all just depends on what your definition of value is. Absolutely. Uh, I still consider, even though Rare Breed has gone up in price, I still consider it a value. Uh, but uh, we want to read a couple comments here from the YouTube section, which is what I was just talking about. How did Wild Turkey Rare Breed make this list, but Ancient Age didn't? Do y'all know what value means? And that's from... <laughs> Tyler Ehrman, Ehrman or Ehrman, sorry for uh, butchering your name. Butch. I don't know. Ancient, ancient age, 90 proof, good, 36 months. Uh, but I'd still just pay the extra, what, buck or two to get the right. bottom and bond. Which I think is what a lot of people are going to be a little bit cranky about is that we continue to give <laughs> uh, widespread love, very vocal about our uh, liking of the Evan Williams bottled and bond and everyone does not want it to blow up and be the next Heaven Hill. True. Uh, bottled in bond. So what what's the other comment? Uh, all good choices, but no shame in Evan Williams bottled in bond. I overlooked it for years because of the price and praise to Heaven Hill if they keep it that way. And that is from Jimmy Drammer. Mm, good, yeah. good point. Good point. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Our next category is for the best limited edition bourbon or rye in 2019. And the nominees are Little Book, Chapter 3, Four Roses, Limited Edition, Small Batch, William Heaven Hill, 12 year. Wild Turkey, Master's Keep, Cornerstone Rye. William LaRue Weller. And the Bourbon Knight goes to? Wait, speaking of the Bourbon Knight, where is, where is the Bourbon Knight? And the Bourbon Knight is behind us. Uh, <laughs> Whoops. And the Bourbon Knight goes to? Oh, good thing this isn't on live television. Nope. Four Roses, Limited Edition, Small Batch. Wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so last year's winner was George T. Stagg. That's a pretty stiff competition to go up year over year. Wow. Um, but I think this year's Four Roses Limited Edition Small Batch was excellent. It got 39% of 1,000 votes wow. on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So apparently it is it is well loved. So 1,000 votes less than the best value, but that's not surprising because less people get to try LEs. Right, so I feel yeah. like less people are weighing in on something they haven't tried. Correct. Which kudos to you for not voting if you can't. Mm -hmm. Jason Hestand, sorry, I don't know if I'm saying that right, said, had all except the Heaven Hill, Four Roses has my vote this year for sure. Brent Elliott is the man. <laughs> Brent Elliott is the man. He is a man. In fact, speaking of accolades, uh, Brent Elliott got one of his own this year, didn't he? That's right. Uh, whiskey Magazine uh, gave him Distiller of the Year for their Icons of Whiskey American Awards. You go, Brent Elliott. You go, Brent Elliott. I love you. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. And the other comment is from Matthew McNabb. Now we had more than one or two. We picked a we, couple. We just selected some. Uh, said, I have a little book and a cornerstone. Both are awesome bottles. I've tried William Leroy Weller and it's a step above. William Heaven Hill, never seen. Believe it's distillery only release. That's it true. Is. So it's probably the most limited on the list and I would love to have it. I can't read this word because Chad wrote this. Found. Found William Leroy Weller and Four Roses limited edition. Just could not afford the markup. Oh, yeah, and that is uh, uh, the price to pay, both metaphorically and actually with right. uh, literally, yeah. literally with uh, limited editions, unfortunately. On to the next. Our next category is Most Divisive Whiskey of 2019. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I know this always, whenever we poll for this, it always starts some conversations. So mm, yeah. I'm excited to see what we picked or what you picked. Oh. And the nominees are mm -hmm. George Dickel, Bottled in Bond, 13 year. Heaven Hill, 7 year. Peerless Bourbon. George T. Stagg, 2019. Booker's, 2019 01 Teresa's Batch. And the winner is. I'm not sure that you want to be the winner in this one. Uh, you don't. You, I don't know. So it means people love you, love but it you. also means people not so much right? love you. George Dickel, Bottled and Bond, 13 year. Yeah, this one I definitely, if I had to have guessed, I would have said that. <laughs> just based on what I heard. We weren't exactly fans of it. We did try it on a live, yeah. We, we did, we did. Uh, so that got 37% of the 940 votes on YouTube. I uh, think we saw some of that divisiveness in those comments. Oh my, yes. And here comes some divisiveness. Uh, from Ace43 says, the YouTube reviewers ganged up on this one and it deserved a more fair assessment. Like you said, we did it on a live. It wasn't like an uncorking, and uh, you know, it wasn't a real uh, official review. Sure. We, un we uncorked it live. I don't recall saying I love it or hate it. I remember not being wild about it, but I don't remember being like, this is terrible. Completely, um, we didn't jump on the, fin the Flintstone vitamin bandwagon. Which is apparently a thing, according to the next comment. Yeah. DMAC01. DMAC01 was excited for the 13-year bottled and bond and ended up with a 13-year-old paperweight of Flintstone vitamins. Ouch. Wowzers. So you can see how some people are like, it didn't get a fair shake, and it tastes like Flintstone's vitamins, and now I just used it as a paperweight. Ha. Yikes. Mm -hmm. That's rough. It's yes. definitely one that we're going to have to go back to. Yeah. But congrats on your award. <laughs> I guess. Okay, on mm. for the next category. Yeah. Our next category is the bourbon distillery to watch from 2019. Mm. And the nominees are New Rift, Bargetown Bourbon Company, Wilderness Trail, Iron Root Republic, Woodenville. Chad, honestly, I don't know what I would have picked out of those. I'm glad that this one was on them, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to yeah. have to choose. We, but. we had no part. I suppose we have to announce the winner. Yeah. So. And the bourbon I goes to. Okay. <laughs> New Riff. New Riff, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It got 45% of a thousand votes. Wow. It's getting some love. It is. Good job, New Riff. Uh, Bardstown Bourbon Company and Iron Republic both tied with 19%. Okay. So they got a good chunk of David Benson, said, I really want to get my hands. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. I really want to get my tongue on some of that Iron Root whiskey. Yikes. That's why I selected that comment. <laughs> Texas really seems to be setting itself apart per usual by creating their own product instead of copying what Kentucky does. That is something to I appreciate. And I think that's probably what put Iron Root up there um, at that 19%. Ryan Fay says, new riff and it's not even close. Four year <laughs> bottled and bond bourbon, single barrel program, 95.5 rye recipe, and to top it off, the Balboa rye was one of the most unique products of 2019. All of the products are $50 and under, too. Yeah, there so you go. So there you have it. Nice. From the mouths of y'all. Yeah, no, we have been very impressed with the New Riff stuff, the mm. single barrels uh, particularly. Yeah. We hope to uh, do a, a barrel pick ourselves at some point. Good job. Congratulations, New Riff Distillery. All right, on to the next one. And now for a category that's kind of hard to word, so let me just read it off here. Most exciting or anticipated release you never got to buy yeah. in 2019. So I feel like a lot of people got kind of heated on this one. 
um, in the comments just because they were like, what? How am I supposed to vote on this? I've never even seen any of these. And that, that's, that's the point. how you vote. That's the point. What's yeah. the one that literally pissed you off you, the most? You didn't even have a chance. You were so hyped to, to get even it. even consider buying it. Right. The nominees for that are... William LaRue Weller, Four Roses, Limited Edition, Small Batch, Weller Full Proof, Parker's Heritage, Heavy Char Rye, anything from Pappy Van Winkle. I have to say, Chad, if we didn't do this show, I don't know that we would have been able to try any of those, so. <laughs> no. I, I love the, just anything Pappy. Just anything. Not even Pappy, even just like Loppy, Rip 10. Rip 10, you know, anything from the Van Winkle line. Yeah. So, the winner is. The winner is. Weller Foolproof. Yay, Weller Foolproof, you get the Bourbon Night Award. <laughs> that uh, was actually the one I feel like we had the hardest time getting our hands on yes. last year. Even though we were able to get some of the Van Winkles, we were not able to get, uh, well, with without any ease. Right, we finally got a store pick of the Weller Foolproof, uh, thanks to our friend Perry. For, Thanks, Barry. for hooking that up. That uh, was a tough one to come by, so yeah. I, I see why you guys voted that way. 34% of 1,000 votes uh, went for the Weller Foolproof. Here's a shared sentiment from many people. They said, all of the above. Yeah. Not surprising when you look at who's on the nomination yeah, list. Yeah, absolutely. And then we had Whiskey Leno saying, you also just say scotch is better so that the newbies buy that and leave more bourbon for us. Sucks that great bourbon is hard to find now. Gotta agree with you. Gotta agree with Whiskey, you. Whiskey, Leno, yeah. But um, we can't hide bourbon. We gotta share it with the people. Gotta share it. Gotta share it's it. It's the way it goes. Yeah. So sorry you guys didn't get to get your Weller foolproof or probably more than likely your Weller anything yeah. in 2019. Mm, we feel your it pain. Tough. Pour one out down my throat. Down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our next category is very dear to my heart. It is the best barrel proof from 2019. And the nominees are... Stag Jr. Batch 12, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C919, Booker's 2019 03 Country Ham, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B519, William LaRue Weller. Two Elijah Craigs duking it out there. Right? Uh, a, a Booker's representing, although we buy a hair like the 04 better than the 03. But, but it's not our, not just our vote. Not our nominees. That mm. was through Patreon, as you know. Not our winners. That was through YouTube. And the bourbon I goes to. Pat it. Seriously. <laughs> Stag Jr. Batch 12. Ooh. Wow. 36% yeah. of over a thousand votes. Yeah. I don't know if the. I love Stag Jr. Batch 12. Yes. If, Good choice. You if, guys did it. <laughs> if the Elijah Craig voters were split between two and that hurt their numbers. So I don't think so, though, because 21% got Elijah Craig barrel proof C919. Mm. So it wasn't even like it was, you know, 2020 both Elijah Craig's. It feels like a lot of people really love that C919, yeah. which you and I love the B. 519. We did like that one the best. They're both very right. good, but right. we did like that one the best. So, mm -hmm. hey, we got a comment from DG Nelson 21 says, LOL, <laughs> when pretty much the only one I have the chance to of getting is the Booker's, makes my choice pretty easy. Booker's of those five was definitely the easiest to get. And if that's all you got. That's all you got. That's all you got. But that Stag Jr. got that award. How nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Stag Jr. You are delicious. It's true. So here's a category that's a little bit different than the normal rules because this one is only voted on by our Patreon community. Ooh. This is the best It's Bourbonite episode of 2019. Always a fun one for us. I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, the nominees are. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> 12 bourbons you need to have on your bar cart. Eat more bourbon. How to make bourbon bread pudding. 64 under $30, semifinals, flight fight. Uncorking, George T. Stagg versus William LaRue Weller. Tricked or treated with whiskey. Uncorking, Beagle Rare, Kentucky Howl. We should also say that this is the only category where there were six options. On Patreon, you can list, I think, unlimited options. On YouTube, you can only list five. So since this was only voted on by our Patreon community, we gave them a lot more options, narrowed it down to the top six for them to vote on. So. The bourbon eye goes to... I'm so excited. I don't actually know. 
What if it's my what if it's my cooking one? <laughs> Fair. 12 bourbons you need to have on your bar cart. Yes. That is like our top performing episode too. That is the one oh, that gets far. the most visibility. Yes. Um, so I understand. I'm like a little bit hurt that it wasn't my cooking one. Well, just know this, Sarah. So that got 84 out of the 199 total votes. Coming in second place is the Eat More Bourbon, How to Make Bourbon Bread Pudding with 32. Ooh. That makes out of me the excited. 199 votes, so it was it was second. We'll have to do another one. Uh, to read some comments here, uh, Robert Spencer says, "I think the 12 bourbons for your bar cart was what got me hooked on your channel." So that's awesome. Yay! And then Chris Martino says, "Sarah definitely needs an award after sustaining an injury during the bread pudding shoot." <gasps> oh! Mm, oh my God! Is it bad? It ain't good. Yes. Curtsy. So that, uh, here, let me officially, here you go, Sarah. Oh, thank you. Yes. I'd like to thank my mom <laughs> okay. for not showing me how to properly use a knife. Pam. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but not really. And you just never know what episodes oh. are, are going to, don't break the award, Sarah. I did. His sword is loose. That's and that okay. does, that sounds real bad. His sword is loose. It is unsheathed. Oh, no. Uh, you just never know what episodes are going to get hot and kind of blow up. So, you know, looking back on it, I probably would have worn different pants or actually worn pants instead of gym shorts but it was a hot day and i was like eh, gym who, shorts who's gonna notice my pants on that a lot of people a lot of people yeah this dude's wearing gym shorts yeah well you'll never do that again well okay <laughs> i'll just wear this from now on just from now on just wear always this, this. It doesn't feel super chad no our next award is for bourbon distillery of the year there and were definitely a lot to watch out for this year chad there were. Now, this is different than the the, the one to watch. That's for more the up-and-coming distilleries. Mm -hmm. This is more the big dogs who uh, I feel like this should be more based on the quality of products that they put out in 2019. At least sure. that's how we instructed people that they should, uh, that's how they should vote. So, yeah. the nominees are Heaven Hill, Buffalo Trace, Wild Turkey, Jim Beam, Old Forester. And the bourbon night goes to... Buffalo Trace. Wow, it got 41% of 1,500 votes. Well, I have to tell you, uh, when we are narrowing down to the top five on Patreon, Buffalo Trace was not the top voted distillery. It was actually Heaven Hill. Oh, I don't know. I think that's probably what I would have voted too with what they've been doing with the Larceny Barrel Proof, the new bringing back the seven year well, uh, bottled and bond product. Larceny is technically 2020, the barrel proof. Ah, uh, I guess. Well, we but, had a bottle. We had yes. a, a sneak peek bottle yes. in uh, 2019. Yeah. But they've got, and with the William Heaven Hill winning yeah. and Parker's Heritage Rye being mm. so amazing, yeah. that's what I would have voted. Yeah. Um, let's see, 22% though did vote for Heaven Hill. MM said Buffalo Trace? Really? And it got 12 thumbs up. Yeah. For for as many comments or as many votes the Buffalo Trace got to get it the statue, it had a lot of comments about, seriously, Buffalo Trace? Most divisive distillery win? <laughs> Maybe. Um, you know, I think they are doing a lot with like expanding their warehouses. They do the single barrel program, or the, um, I'm sorry, the experimental uh, yes. bottle program. But I haven't seen anything out of that in a while. Right. And then I just feel like they've been putting out their old standards. Uh, David Benson said, Heaven Hill was the most innovative by far. I might have to agree with you there. Uh, and Christopher said, had to be Buffalo Trace with Weller foolproof. Actually, you know what? That's a good point. I hadn't considered those new Wellers. Christopher also says, of those of you crying about not finding product, don't blame Buffalo Trace, blame hoarders. Mm, Buffalo Trace is a very hoarded and uh, I would, flipped product. I would probably, if there was a category for vote most hoarded and flipped, that's what I would vote. <laughs> Maybe next year. Maybe next most year. Most hoarded and flipped? Well, now's the time of the evening where we honor someone, but this year, much like last year, mm -hmm. Sarah, we are honoring them with a posthumous award. It's time for the Lifetime Achievement Award, which this year goes to the very deserving Al Young. To put it in a more simple way than it deserves to be, Al Young was an employee of the Four Roses Distillery for 52 years. Since 2007, he was their brand ambassador, eventually becoming their senior brand ambassador a position he was more than qualified to hold since he literally wrote the book on the brand's history. Al was an inductee to the Whiskey Magazine Hall of Fame, as well as a member of the Kentucky Distillers Association Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame. To call him a legend 
not only at Four Roses, but in the industry, would still be far less than he deserves. You only had to sit with him for a few moments to understand his love for bourbon, what it represents, and how it brings people together in conversation. Cheers, Al. You will be missed. Well, Chad, I, for one, am so thankful that we got to spend multiple occasions with Al. The barrel picks, the the events. Mm-hmm. We got to do several years of the Four Roses Small Badge Competition yeah. um, with him there. And his wife, I got to sit with her on the judging panel. And it was just great to see them together, not necessarily out uh, crowd-facing. Right, so, exactly. He was such a nice man. To Al Young, cheers. As Chad mentioned earlier, we have already done our best bourbon of 2019. Uh, We did that episode earlier in 2020. Um, And since we've already covered that here, uh, we do not do that as an official crowdsourced award, although we may incorporate that next year. Maybe next year, yeah. Because, you know. interesting to know. Yeah. It would be interesting to see what you all think versus what we think. Mm -hmm. But since we don't do that here, even though it is the Bourbon Night Awards, we're going to do the best fry of 2019. Yes. To end the show because we're getting low on our drinks. Yeah, we'll close it out. It's <laughs> oh. late in the night. Yes, yes it is. We have after parties to get to. So many. And the nominees are Wild Turkey, Cornerstone Rye, Old Forester, Parker's Heritage, Heavy Char Rye, Knob Creek Cast Strength, New Riff, Balboa Rye. And the Bourbonite goes to Old Forester Rye. I don't know if that's what I expected. Um, I think that must be because of the value. It got 43% of the votes. However, yeah. this was the one of the last polls that we put out, so it got less response. It was up for, for less amount of time. But 43%, I mean, you have to imagine, yeah. even if it got up to 1,000, that it still would have remained yeah. Yeah. The, the leader. I do definitely think it is because of the value and the availability. You look that's at some point. of the others, they were LEs, like the, the, Cornerstone, the Cornerstone Rye, the Parker's Heritage. Yep. Yeah, for sure. It's what people have probably tried. Absolutely. I do think, if I'm remembering right, it was a different winner on Patreon. Oh. I want to say it was the Wild Turkey, the Cornerstone, Mm -hmm. that actually uh, got it. Um, But, of course, you know, Patreon people also vote on the YouTube polls, so it's just combining combining everyone together. Everyone together. A-D-I-P or a dip. 1109 said, it's got to be the Old Forester for availability, price, and rye content for the price, and the overall quality of the whiskey. Great in cocktails, stands on its own neat, or with ice, it's a staple rye. I mean, I see the point there. Like, it, this category wasn't value, but I think that is a value product. And in a world where everyone can't get all those other ones that were there, I totally see why this one. Sure. Uh, another comment from Jeff Cowles says, thank you guys for the Old Forester Rye recommendation. It's my favorite affordable rye for sure. It's probably more of Sarah's recommendation. So I did you recommend have it. more of Sarah to thank than me. But I'll still take it. You're welcome. Take the credit, Chad. Uh, yeah. Just take it. <laughs> yeah, so congratulations, Old Forester Rye. You know, it is great when such an affordable uh, you know, value and available and a versatile rye, versatile rye at a good proof point, hundred sure. proof that you can put in cocktails mm-hmm. wins up against uh, some heavier hitters uh, with some LEs. It's true. Good on it. Yeah. Good on it. Well, thank you, Chad, for another successful year. Of thank the you, Bourbon Sarah. Night Awards. Yes. We learned something new every all. year. Yes. Thank you all for voting. Uh, thanks to our patrons, of course for looking at a list of sometimes 18, 20 different options, voting to get that down to the top five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Uh, you guys rock. Yeah. And the YouTube community for coming together to also vote and pay attention to so many polls after polls. Maybe we could have a... Oh, no. ...foreign category. Best... In, oh, like foreign film? But... Or international film, international, as it's now called. International, as it's now called. It could be... Our international Scotch. whiskey category. It could be... <gasps> Irish, it could be Japanese, it could be Raise your hand if you vote yes. All different all different types. Let us down let us down no in those comments below is what I just said. That's what he said. Uh, <laughs> hey, we want to end the show by telling you about whiskeyambitions.com. It's actually where we have a new t-shirt. You can now get the drink more bourbon t-shirt. It's now available. The glasses that we're drinking from, the Glen Cairns, we also have rocks glasses, pint glasses, 
challenge coins, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. If you want to be included in those polls to determine what ends up on this award show or lots of other polls, uh, and just a fun community, all around good time, uh, be the first to know about meetups. For a good time call. Barrel picks. You can Patreon. call patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and be one of our patrons for as little as $1 a month. Absolutely. If you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking whoop, right up here. There's also suggestions of other videos. We hope to see you down there or over there in those. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon.